Late night dumpster diving? No, I don't think so. We're getting ready to jump in to another episode of the Trucker's Table. So let's jump into it. Start trailer less than a year old. That's good. Got a dirty truck that needs washing. That's not good. Yeah, we are here in Cottonton, Alabama. And yeah, let's see if we can see. Oh yeah, old cab over. <laughs> old cab over headed up the hill there with a load of logs. And there's a dub man, ducky duck, walking around sniffing. Probably smells deer. I'm sure there's a lot of deer coming around back over here. Uh, all right, so we did a live load. Uh, Could have got here a little bit sooner, but I stopped off over in Donaldsonville, Georgia to see my uncle. I hadn't seen him in a while, so I wanted to talk to him in person. Get to see him a little bit and talk to him. Get back down here, boy. And um, so we did that. And then we got on over here. And they got us right on into a door pretty fast, you know. But then they took almost two hours to get us loaded. So we're like over an hour and a half finally getting us loaded. And I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and knock out this other 30 minutes, get a full two-hour break in, and then we're going to haul the mail. Uh, going to try to make Memphis. Chances are we're going to be just south of Memphis. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'll have to wait and see. But anyway, we're going to push it as hard as we can, get as far as we can. Do our eight hour break, drive the rest of the way, deliver, book it back over to Memphis and pick us up a load going to uh, Lake Park, Georgia. Oh crap, there's the deer, there's the deer. There are the deer, I see the deer. Let's see if that car chases them off, hold on. See the deer? Ducky doesn't see him. There they are. Let's see if they hold the phone up a little higher. There we go. See, look at them. Isn't that beautiful? It's almost like they're statues or something, but I promise you that's real deal. Watch this. Gonna go chase the deer, that that. Gonna go chase the deer. That's pretty cool. I was hoping they'd move around or something. There you go. He's moving a little bit. All that traffic coming in and out, boy, and they don't even flinch. You know they're used to it, don't they? up man over here. he don't even realize they're up there that's crazy all right so that breaks about up we're gonna get on up out of here them deer were pretty cool wasn't it i see them all the time when we come up here and more times than not i've seen a uh, dead boar wild boar in the road they get hit more than deer i believe up here but uh anyway it's good hunting land if you can get up here somewhere and find somewhere to hunt but uh, anyway, we're fixing to jump in the truck, get on the road, see how far we can get tonight, and we'll let you know later on how far we made it. Y'all come on. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, cold, cold. Ooh, there goes Mr. Fairy Bridges. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we're in Earl, Arkansas. We had a reserve spot, uh, reserved. And as you can tell, we are not in a reserve spot. 
this is over where the truck wash part is. Uh, if we was in a reserve spot, you'd probably see a fence behind me. Uh, what is it? There he goes. There goes Mr. Furry Bridges. <laughs> All right, so anyway, whew, well, we're not in our reserve spot to re-reserve. Yeah. Hey, uh, we got here and all the reserve spots were full. Even though we reserved one, we should have had one. We could have went inside or called or whatever and said, hey, you got to come out here and run somebody out of a spot. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> I don't want to be the one guy to run somebody out of a spot unless I absolutely, absolutely, no other choice, have to. So... I said, I'm gonna make one loop around the parking lot just to see if there might be a parking spot somebody just opened up or something. Sure enough, I found one over by the shop, parked over there, and then I uh, got a few hours of sleep. <laughs> and uh, woke up this morning, and Mr. Fuzzy Bridges was an anxious to go outside. So I said, let's look and see what's outside. <laughs> I saw plenty of spots over here. I said, well, let's go over there that way. Because this time of morning, people are leaving in a hurry. And I don't want to be walking across the parking lot with him and take a chance on him getting run over. So I said, let's just creep around the parking lot over here to where to back into a spot. And uh, that way you ain't got to run across the parking lot. So that's what we did. Ain't that right, Mr. Fred Bridges? See, that's right, Dan. Checking it out. <laughs> uh. Ooh, it's cold. Good Lord mighty. It's somewhere between 42 and 39, somewhere there. Ooh, let me check. I may be wrong. I might be wrong. Let's see. I was wrong. Wait, that says Heath. Let's see. Well, it says my location is is uh Heath. Thirty six degrees. <laughs> Woo. I ain't never heard it called Heath. Maybe that's like a little county area or something of Earl. Cause we're not right in Earl. We're just outside of Earl exit 260. Right. Man, I hope he hurries up. Come on, Dak, Dak, hurry up, buddy. Jackie, hurry up, come on. You got a thicker fur coat than what I got on. Lord have mercy, if I know it was gonna be 36 when I went to get out of the truck, I would have put on something underneath this and then put this on over. Ooh, I still gotta get that full face mask because <laughs> that wind's killing my face. Ooh. But anyway, we made it over here. We're gonna finish up our eight hour break. Excuse me, yeah. And then we're gonna run on over there to Conway, get our delivery done over there. If it takes two hours to get it done, We'll get our two hour break in and then we'll, most likely we will regardless. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. And then we'll scoot our butt back over to Memphis as quick as possible. Uh, I'm gonna try to get back to Memphis by five o'clock, maybe somewhere in there. And uh, they said that ship till eight. So if they do, that's awesome. We'll pick that load up, get headed down towards uh, Birmingham and uh, go as far as we can go, stop, do an eight hour break, and then drive the rest of the way on down to uh, uh, Lake Park. Then get down there, we might have to do a two hour break before we can go to the house, not sure. But anyway, we get down there and drop the trailer. We may bobtail home, or we may, uh, what was I gonna say? We may bobtail home, or we may do a drop and hook. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna do what Home Depot tells me to do. If Home Depot says, hey, drop your trailer, go across the street and get a trailer, I'm gonna go across the street and get a trailer. If they say, drop your trailer and come back in two days, I'm gonna come back in two days. Home Depot's the customer, Home Depot's the boss. I do what they say. <laughs> Ain't that right, Mr. Barry Bridges? Yeah, that's right, Dad, that's right. They the customer. They make the decisions. And you're walking in that black mud. Son of a gun. Get out of that black mud, come here. Get back out here on the grass. Stay on the grass. I swear to the good Lord, man. Whew. 
wonder what they're doing in that Volvo over there. See it right there? They're over there doing something to that Volvo. Huh. Anyway, we're going to jump back in the truck and I'm going to try to get my butt warm because I'm f -f 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 freezing. Make a pot of coffee before we have to leave to go over the yonder. So, anyway, y'all come on along. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Duck man, ducky duck. I look like a giant pecan tree, don't it? Uh, we are here at the old uh, place where we delivered in Conway. And there's our buddy, Hell Rider. Wait, wait. That can't be Pell Rider. I just talked to him and he is in Texas. He ain't in Arkansas. <laughs> uh. so I like this cold weather, Dad. It is awesome. <laughs> uh. Ooh, look like somebody left their boots over there. What that's about. He's getting good and muddy, so put him back in the truck. That'd be lovely. Ah, uh, you missed it. He was over there rolling in the grass. Wet grass. Thank you, Ducky. Thank you, buddy. Ah, get away from my highway. I don't know why I don't have my jacket on. I'm a straight up nut. <laughs> but anyway, we're almost done with our two hour break. We're fixing to get on the road and get gone. Agent calling me, wanting me to take a load. I ain't gonna do it. Hello? Yes, sir. No, so that's okay. I don't need a load. I appreciate it though. You see a 210 area code and they're calling you say hey man i got this low i got this opposite proposition for you no thank you <laughs> i done got burned taking loads and them calling me now when i go on the low board i find my own load if your load is that good you shouldn't have a problem getting rid of it on the load board obviously the load ain't that damn good if you have to call people <laughs> so anyway we're gonna jump back in the truck get warmed up Woo. Get ready to head on over there. Uh, I think we got like five minutes left, so we gotta hurry and get in the truck. So y'all come on, let's get going, get on over to Memphis, pick up that load and get our butt down south where it's warm. Come on, Dad, let's go where it's warm, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Charging, charging, yeah. <laughs> what you say, Duck Man? You gonna climb the what you gonna climb the hill? You gonna climb up that hill? You can do it. I saw you do it last night. <laughs> yeah, we got here about 12:30 a.m. Over there where the diesel island is, right where that flatbed trailer is, all through there was packed full of trucks. All along this curve where you see the tire marks, all this was packed full of trucks. All this over here was packed full. All the way back there was packed full. <laughs> we found a little spot on the other side of where we're parked now. There's a uh, United Van Lines or whatever it is orange trailers if you look right through there you can see the orange on the other side so we backed up against it <laughs> and uh we were able to find a place to park but uh yeah we were tired out of hours i think we had like six minutes left on our clock and uh this morning uh, after an eight hour break, we only got back two hours. So I said, well, screw it. <laughs> we'll just go ahead and finish out a 10 hour break. And uh, that way we can go, cause we're, only, we're less than four hours from where we got to do our dropping hook and then head to the house. So we'll be able to do all this without even having to do a 30 minute break. So we should be good. But yeah, if you, uh, I don't know if you noticed it when I zoomed in over there before, but on the other side of the street over there is uh, a Love's. And um, 
they don't have a whole lot of parking. And besides, you coming in at midnight, <laughs> they're parked in the fuel aisle and they're parked in the curb, they're parked everywhere. You ain't getting a parking space at no loves after midnight. <laughs> Unless somebody, you get lucky, somebody's leaving. But, uh, so that's why we came on over here. I figured we could find somewhere to park over here. I mean, there was a spot if I had to, I could have parked over here against this grass. Uh, I would have had to squeeze in though. But uh, I was able to find that other spot that worked out pretty good. So, Whew. Seems like it's been a long journey, but we it, it's been less than two days since we left the house. We left Monday afternoon, and we're going to be getting back on Wednesday afternoon with about $3,000 in our pocket. Ain't bad for a two-day run. <laughs> yeah, that's after Landstar's cut. Uh, we should get close, right at 3000 So, yeah, good, good two-day run. I can do that every two days. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I wanted to be home for Valentine's Day, but I was thinking I'd be getting home on Friday. Shoot, I'm getting home on Wednesday. <laughs> talking, about, talking about hustling. I got some hustling going on. But, uh, anyway, we're going to jump back in the truck. Our 10-hour break is about up. We're going to get headed over towards uh, Valdosta, get over to Lake Park and do our drop. I don't know yet if it's going to be a drop trailer or a drop and hook. We'll have to wait and see when we get over there. It just depends on what the customer tells us they want to do. So, we'll see. We got to get that pig washed. It's dirty. But I'm going to wait till I get to the house and break out the pressure washer and just wash it there at the house. I'll have plenty of time to get it done. So, y'all come on. Let's go see if we're going to do a drop and hook or a drop. There he is. There's the duck man. What's up, duck duck? What's up, buddy? See, this sucks, dad. All I got is this little thin strip of grass all the way through here all the way down there and there's all that beautiful grass out there and i can't go get on it because there's this long ass ditch full of water <laughs> uh, yeah it'd be like this sometimes anybody know what that is can anybody guess what that is If I tell you that that is the fire department, would that give you a hint? <laughs> yep, that's the fire department. And that is tractor supply. Cricket Wireless is over here and some other businesses. Yep. He's not really worried about the grass. He's not even looking. Look at him. He's up on top of that daggum thing. Look at him. He has gotten up there on top of that loading dock thing. Let's see if he's going to jump or go back down. Nope, going to jump. <laughs> you don't want to go where there's grass? Maybe. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Really like this pavement, though, Dad. <laughs> Uh, he's a nut. You gonna piss on the tire? No. Well, we've had an une. Did I just say uneventful? I was supposed to say uneventful day, wasn't I? <laughs> this has been anything but an uneventful day. We've had a crazy day. All uh, right, we started out in Ozark, Alabama this morning, right? Then we hauled the mail. Shoom. Valdosta, Lake Park, Georgia, Home Depot. Did a drop and hook. Check with the wife, make sure it was okay. <laughs> Not to come home. I'm like, I got these two loads lined up. I can take them if you'll let me. <laughs> so she's like, yeah, go ahead. Because she's got to work anyway. Uh, so I call, picking up a load in Mary Anna. Boom, boom, hometown. <laughs> I claim it as my hometown. I wasn't born and raised there. But all my family, my mom, my aunts, my uncles, my cousins, everybody lives there, my nephews, some of them. A <laughs> uh, bunch of friends and family live in Mariana. Love Mariana. And uh, got a load out of there. Picking up right next door to the Family Dollar Distribution Center where we deliver to a lot. Pick that load up and we have it on now. <laughs> And we are in Baymanette, 
just northeast of Mobile. And we're parked behind a truck supply. <laughs> Uh, because it didn't look like looking at Google Maps, it was parking out there at the receiver. So I said, well, we'll just park here because we got a short day tomorrow. Yeah, we got a short day. Okay, I don't know if you can see him. He's way over here. Look, you see him walk right around, around by the building? He don't care about no grass. He don't care about grass. He wants to go, go, go roam around. <sighs> anyway, uh, uh, let's see. So yeah, we're gonna deliver in the morning. Then we're gonna run up to Axis, Alabama, which is on I, uh, uh, Highway 43 up north of Creole, Alabama. We're gonna pick up there. And then we're gonna run, we're gonna find us a back road. I think we are. I don't think we're gonna run no interstate. I think we're gonna run back roads all the way to Tifton, Georgia. <laughs> and uh, deliver up there Friday morning coming back that that yeah i gotta come help you out dad make sure you do the video right <laughs> and uh so anyway yeah we're living up there in tifton georgia that load pays 50 dollars less than what this load paid both loads paid really good really good let's see from over there to over here uh i want to say 200 miles less than 200 miles yeah less than 200 miles 1250 dollars <laughs> No, right, wait. Let's see, Mariana's exit 136 to the Alabama lines 136, and to this exit was about another 15 or 20 miles. So that's what 56, and then coming up here is another 15. Yeah, less than 200 miles. <laughs> oh, 200 miles, 1250 bucks. Boom! And then the load going back to Tifton, paying twelve hundred bucks, twelve fifty. I'm sorry, both of them paying twelve fifty. So, twenty five hundred bucks for another day's work. I don't mind it. I'll do it. <laughs> so after land starts cut, we're looking at uh, I think around sixteen hundred, maybe somewhere in there, something like that. My back itches, so I do this anyway. Uh, yeah. So man, that's good money. A little extra scratch. So this on top of what we made for the out and back up in Arkansas. And we'll finish out the week with about 40, we'll say around 4,200, somewhere in there maybe, somewhere in that ballpark. That's after land starts cut, but before fuel and before taxes. <laughs> so yeah, we, we still did pretty good this week. And we stayed out of the bad weather. That's good, it's always good. Got to meet some really nice folks in Mariana. Uh, one of the ladies that works there in the uh, shipping office. Um, I hope I don't get her name wrong. I know it starts, I think it starts with a KRC. Carla, is it Carla? I think it's Carla. Anyway, uh, she um, really nice. She went to school with my nephew, one of my nephews. That was pretty cool. Uh, and then we went over to Cottondale, Florida to the loves met up with one of our favorite subscribers uh jim who is lee stone at landstar um has a beautiful volvo 2020 volvo 860 globe trotta really nice truck really beautiful truck oh, i love that truck <laughs> and uh so we got to hang out and talk with him a little bit he got to play with the duck man a little bit so pretty good day, all in all, not a bad day, pretty good day. So we're still gonna make it home by probably Friday by noon. I would think by noon. I'll be home before Teresa gets off work Friday, <laughs> unless she works half a day or something. <laughs> so we'll see. But uh, anyway, uh, just want to touch base with y'all and let you know where we're at. Look at him. He's way back there. Way down here on the bottom. On the side of those pallets down there. Knucklehead. He must smell something, I guess. I don't know. He's a nut. Anyway, we got to give Jim a hat. So he got him a hat. He got the camo, digital camo hat and the shirt. I hope the shirt fits, but I got a sneaky feeling it might not. But if it don't, Jim, give it to your wife. Or, you know. 
pinned up. <laughs> I don't know. I got to get my shirt sizes right for, for when I hand those out. But uh, anyway, we're going to jump in the truck, eat some dinner, watch a little TV, and maybe edit some video. So I'm not scrambling like a madman come Friday morning to get it sent out. I hope y'all liked the video I did. It cost me a little bit of money. I said it cost me money. It didn't really cost me anything. I mean, I didn't make, I'm not making any money off of that one because the music I use, the uh, free bird going down Mont Eagle, uh, I have to share that revenue with the uh, owner of that music because it's copyrighted. So I didn't know that. I thought it was free music, but it wasn't. But it doesn't actually cost me money. It's just, I don't make any money. Not that I want to make money. I never started YouTube to make money to start with. I just did it to have some fun and meet people and let my family know what's going on out here on the road while I'm out here. So, which by the way, if my mom sees this and she knows I was there in Mariana, like pff, three or four miles down the road from where she lives, she's liable to come after me. Uh, I can see my butt getting beat now. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to jump in the truck. And we'll talk to y'all some more tomorrow. So don't go to where I'm facing go chase Ducky. I think I can catch it. I'll be right back. He's a nut. Well, <laughs> we just finished our load in Bay Manette. We got unloaded over there. It's kind of tight getting in, really muddy, but uh, we got that load delivered. And we're fixing to leave here and head on over to Axios, Alabama. Up near Satsuma, Creole, over that way. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't get unloaded over there. I'm sorry. See if we can't get loaded over there. And then we're gonna head on up to uh, Tifton, Georgia, deliver there, and then we're headed to the house for Valentine's Day weekend. Yeah. Me and Teresa will be celebrating today. I'm sorry, I apologize. Tomorrow, <laughs> which is Friday. We will be celebrating our 10th anniversary of our first date. Not our 10th wedding anniversary, but our 10th anniversary of our first date when we first met. <laughs> and uh, we've already got dinner planned. We're going to go out to dinner where we uh, had our first date at. Yeah, so uh, that's going to be fun. Can't wait to do that. Uh, this is a place that we're going to. Uh, it's a place we've been to several. Oh, man, I couldn't count how many times we've ate there. Um, we've taken friends there, family there. Um, uh, we had our rehearsal dinner there for our wedding. Um, and uh, we even made up our own menus. I mean, the place is kind of special to us, you know. And um, so, you know. I, uh, if you want to know about the place, let me know. I mean, um, uh, I, well, I'll tell you. It's it's called Harry Seafood Bar and Grill in um, in Tallahassee. Excellent uh, food, especially Cajun seafood stuff. And um, I think when I went there and ate me and her ate our first meal, if I'm not mistaken, I think I had shrimp and grits. <laughs> and um, so, of course, it's uh, your first date, right? You want to make a good impression. So you have to excuse yourself and run to the bathroom and brush your teeth up a little bit, you know? Rinse out your mouth real good, get all the grits out of your mouth. <laughs> I still remember it, it was funny. But um, anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head on to the house uh, after we get delivered tomorrow morning in, um, in Tifton, Georgia. So we're fixing to leave over here in Bay Manette, run on over to Axios, pick up our load there, and then start heading over towards Tifton 
and we'll pick up the video from there our new vlog our new vlog not this one we're going to end this one here but thank y'all so much for coming along for the ride i hope you enjoyed it hope he gave you some good information maybe not i don't know who knows <laughs> nowadays who knows but at least we had some fun with the duck man duck -a -duck -duck -duck. but uh anyway he's down there on the floor laying down <laughs> Yeah, I just decided to go ahead and end the video here because it's a little bit of bad weather. It's been raining and stuff. So I couldn't really do a whole lot of filming outside. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you stay safe. Hope you enjoyed Valentine's Day. If, you, if, you, if this gets out, this may not get out before Valentine's Day because we met up with our buddy Jim over in uh, Condell. So I'm probably going to put that video out Friday. So you'll probably be seeing this after Valentine's Day. So I apologize. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. Tell me about it. So, anyway, y'all stay safe. And don't forget our motto. No matter how hard it gets, we don't give up. We keep punching. <laughs>